Today, we're tying a fly from the vise of Patrick Robinson. The Chicken Lil is a great all-purpose steelhead attractor pattern. It's part bugger, part sparrow, and of course, part yarn egg. I really like patterns like this for their versatility. This is a fly you can fish on any type of rig and be successful. Hey everyone, Matt here with the Northern Angler in Traverse City, Michigan. You can find all the materials you'll need for this fly and lots more at the Northern Angler. Com. The version we're tying is just a little different from the original, which uses a chenille for the body instead of dubbing. Once you've got your hook securely in the vise, start about mid shank and work your thread right on back to the barb. Trim any excess. And we're going to grab a small little piece of marabou from this soft hackle marabou patch from Hairline. And there's just so many great feathers on, on this thing, it's almost tough to pick. You kind of want to use your thumb and index finger here, pinch just to taper that feather down into shape. Then we're going to measure one shank length, really no more. Hop it back and take wraps. Keep that on top of the shank if you can. Take some wraps forward just up to where you started your thread. No need to go much further. You want to save a little bit of space at the front for the wing and for the head. Cover that up. Looks pretty good. We're going to tie our rib material in right now. I'm just going to use some ultra wire in gold here. That's just going to add a little bit of durability and segmentation to the underbody. I usually wet my thread before I use natural dubbing like this hair's ear. And I'm just going to touch dub a loose noodle and take wraps forward. This does not have to be perfect at all. It's going to be mostly covered up by the wing. I like to keep it loose so we can comb it out. Gives a really nice buggy underbody. A little half hitch here. Bring in the cradle. We're going to take counter wraps with this wire. Evenly spaced out right on up to your thread. Work that wire off. You can trim it or just do that little helicopter trick there. Next, I like to comb out my dubbing. Just using a Velcro tool here. Get those guard hairs and those little pieces of Antron combed out and it just makes this fly come to life. We're going to use this same patch again. I'm going to grab a hen feather instead of the marabou. They're both on that same patch. It makes it so convenient to just have that one big chunk of feathers. I'm going to tie that in about mid stem. Because I only really want two or three wraps top. Wet my fingers, preen that back, kind of fold it. It's going to butt right up against that dubbing and it's really going to prop that feather up nicely. Don't bog it down with too many wraps. We want this to be light so it moves, it undulates in the current and it looks alive. 
Give yourself a nice little thread base towards the front. Do not put your... Th Give yourself a nice little thread base towards the front, but you don't want your thread to end up all the way at the eye. You want to end up right in the middle of this thread base. Last, we're going to grab some McFly foam for the head material. I tend to just fold this around the thread, just makes it really friendly to use. I'm tensioning it here because I don't want it to go everywhere. We put some wraps in the middle. Maps, some wraps, but put some wraps in the middle, some wraps behind, and wraps in front. Then you're going to tie this thing off. Grab your whip finish tool, five or six turns. Then you need to tension this before we trim it. So you want to pull on this, trim it roughly the gap of the hook here between the point and the shank. Reach in, trim it, and you can taper this if you want after you trim it. Doesn't make an enormous difference, but I do think it looks nice. Rests nicely on the that hen feather there. The very last step, I tend to put just a tiny, tiny dab of super glue underneath because you have exposed thread. Well, I hope you all get a chance to tie up a few of these for your next steelhead adventure. Be sure to check out the links below for a full material list and some info about how we like to fish this fly. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Let us know if you have questions in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more content like this, think about hitting that subscribe button. Hopefully we'll see you all soon in the shop or out on the water.